If we catch something, we'll set down on the ground, we'll pick it up, take it into the helicopter, fly it back over here to the hel helipad, and then people will meet us up there and drive the wolf back down here, and then they'll process it. So this one is from the Hawk's Nest Pack. He's born this year in April. Um, male pup, uh, running with his pack. So we draw blood on him, we, uh, and then the blood gets sent off for genetics. Um, just to see what their what their what, who their parents were, um, so we keep very tr close track of their genetics, and then we also do a toxicology test with the serum to see if they have any um, if they've been exposed to plague or rabies or anything like that. And then we put a radio collar on them or a GPS collar. We're going to a lot of GPS technology right now, um, which is uh, uh, which is a great tool for us. And then. Uh, uh, if there is any injuries, um, we'll, we'll assess any broken legs, anything like that. Um, it's hard for, people don't realize it, but I mean, just being a wild animal, it's hard. These wolves are going after elk with their mouths, you know, to kill them and bring them down. And sometimes they do suffer injuries. And so if we do see one that seems like it's crippled or injured, we'll try and catch that and just give it medical attention. And then from here, um, they'll be, one or two people that'll drive it back out roughly to that location where we captured it and uh, and then release it at that time and if there's other wolves there they get back pretty quick especially if it's like a bonded pair male female pair like you'll hear the other one howling out there trying to find each other they're very social they want to be together and they get together like pretty quick after you put them back out there